I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence before His precious Word. For a daily meditation today, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 11, verse 28. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. The Word of God never loses its power. Even after decades, and this warning of the Lord is for all mankind down through the ages. We have seen the rise and fall of many empires that were based on riches and wealth that they had in abundance. Even when the Spirit of the Lord is writing these words through King Solomon, the nation of Israel was among the richest nations which was adored by the people around. But as they began to trust the riches rather than trusting in the Lord God, the nation began to crumble. The word of God clearly says, He that trusteth in his riches shall fall. Though man accepts it or not, but it is a fact that none can deny that every person in this world lives his life trusting in one or the other thing. Some have their trust in their health, some in their wealth, and there are some who have confidence on their own. They trust themselves. But there are some who trust in the Lord and humbly surrender at His feet. The Word of God again and again warns his children, to trust the Lord God with their whole heart. The middle scripture of the whole Bible, Psalms 118 verse 8 and 9 says, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. One thing we need to remember always is that the things which we see with our eyes are not eternal. They are all temporary and they last for a short time. Sometimes we can see the rise and fall of the things before our own eyes. And if our life is too short, we may leave this world before that happens. But still, the things that we see today before our eyes will never last too long. And the most attractive thing before our eyes are the riches of this world. Just like Eve fell into the temptation that appeared attractive to her eyes, most of the people, including believers, fall into this trap which the enemy lays before us. In many parts of India, we can see that on the day of the wedding, the people's attention is diverted to the beauty, is diverted not to the beauty or talents of the bride or the personality of the bride. But they are attracted towards the golden jewelry which the bride has worn. The riches of the families in which they trust and glorify is shown before the world. Just like the Word of God, very soon we see the downfall of the lives also. The riches of this world seem precious and valuable in our eyes, and so there arises the tendency to trust these things. But we need to understand that these riches and wealth can never withstand the challenges and problems which we face in our life. It can never meet the need of our body nor the soul. For example, if we are hungry, we need food for that. If we have a pocket full of money, but still cannot find food, then it is of no use. We all might remember the days when the Indian currency was demonetized. And people who were hungry walking on the roads for food were not the poor beggars, but the ones who, had, who were having pocket full of money, which was of no value. It was an eye-opener for many people. Then came COVID. We could see how people were struggling to get a cylinder of oxygen to save their near and dear ones. 
they were ready to pay any amount still many could not get the oxygen which proved much precious than the riches that we see before our eyes the earthquakes volcanoes and the tornadoes all prove that the riches upon which we trust knowingly or unknowingly will never help us to stand before the storms of life let us trust our lord god who is faithful and who does everything for our good let us put our trust in the word of god with our whole heart it is very easy to trust in the things which are visible before our eyes but to trust in the lord god and his word it is the spirit of the lord who must help us for that if we sincerely seek the truth and have a childlike heart we can see how the lord god will lead us through in this raging and stormy sea of life when others fall on their way we will be able to stand still as our lord god the eternal rock is our strong fort and refuge we may have good health wealth riches and good family which god has given us but let us never trust any of these things other than our lord god then we'll never stumble in our path may the lord god help each one of us to trust our lord each day and face the raging storms of our life and emerge victorious and reach the other shore with joy let us trust and surrender our lives into the hands of the lord who holds our tomorrow and live in that divine peace may the lord help us for that let us pray father we praise you and thank you for this beautiful morning that you have given us and thank you for your precious word lord when the world is putting their trust on temporal things help us to trust you you are our all in all help us to lean on you you are our rock you are our fortress lord help us to grow in that faith and cling on to you may your name be glorified in jesus most holy name we pray amen may god bless us our lord is coming very soon maranatha